Welcome back everyone, this is the State of the Nation. Recently, I was having dinner with my mother and she went on a lamenting trip complaining about how prices of certain items uh, keeps changing. I think she was complaining about uh, coconut prices, which keeps changing all the time. She told me that even in the big supermarkets in Colombo, you go today and they will sell you a coconut, let's say 450 rupees, I do not know exact the uh, accurate price right now. But let's say for, for, for argument's sake, 150 rupees, and you go to the same place tomorrow, it will be 160. Did the coconut gods impose a tax overnight uh, for those prices to fluctuate? Now, it is very unfair to the consumers. Yes, certain elements cannot be controlled when someone depends on many services to bring them to the market. It will change. But it's very unfair to the consumer to charge them different prices within a few days for the same product without giving them a proper reasonable answer. Now take the electronic market. We all know the skyrocketing prices of certain electronic products. They imported to Sri Lanka at a nominal rate before the economic crisis. No sooner the rupee crash without notice or reasonable explanation as to how the prices of products which they already have brought into the country by paying the old price and then charging new rates based on the latest exchange rate, which would not affect their profit margin whatsoever, but increase it massively. These dishonest businessmen took advantage and pinned everything, saying economic crisis. Is this fair? Are you okay with it? Our cameras managed to roam the streets of Colombo and this is what some of you had to say. Uh, well, uh, we have no choice. We have to tie up our belts and we have reduced uh, using the items. So most of the items uh, we tend to buy only the essential items, which especially for children. So we have cut off uh, our expenses and uh, Actually, we are buying on a monthly basis, so we have uh, drastically reduced the number of items and the quantities that we are buying on a monthly basis. Do you That's believe a, that there should be a control? Exactly, no? because yeah. there are relevant authorities who should be responsible for these things, but they are not taking up those uh, responsibilities in a correct manner, I think. It's miserable, you know, you are totally confused when you go into a shop because you never know what price they will say. You get one price in the um, item, and when you go to the system, system indicates another price and you know it's just a chaos, it's severe chaos. So I think there should be a price control somewhere, whether it's high or low, it doesn't matter. But it should be a fixed price so that the people won't get lost. Loans, interest also got higher. Mm, but no. our income not get. Definitely need uh, control. Control not for general people. They should do government. Actually, uh, all uh, families uh, at the moment we are struggling to uh, um, maintain our day-to-day uh, -day lifestyle. When it comes to bread, uh, so that is the very good, very best example. And in some places it's 180 and 150. Uh, so, uh, so that is the very best example which I comes to my, which comes to my mind uh, at the very first time. So. Uh, so it really affects our day-to-day day -day lives and uh, like when it comes to like uh, we are budgeting for the month as well so uh, it really affects uh, that like uh, so not directly actually when pa planning for our other expenses also uh, so it it applies uh, for the like the other goods as well. Earlier we could buy you know four or five uh, shopping <laughs> bags for goods full of uh, for 5,000 rupees now for 5,000 rupees it has gone down to two uh, bags. I think because of that like uh, most of the ground levels are suffering and also the middle level people and that's why most of the people are protesting and uh, raising their voices. So where can you turn when issues like these exist? Those days uh, we were able to complain to the Consumer Affairs Authority, the legal arm of the Sri Lankan government, to ensure that uh, consumers of this country are not scammed. Today, looking at how things are happening, I honestly do not know whom to complain. But if you go to the website of the Consumer Affairs Authority in their overview of that organization, it says, and I quote, Consumer Affairs Authority is the apex government uh, organization mandated to protect consumer interest and ensure fair market competition in Sri Lanka. So basically, they have to look 
at the prices of uh, commodities in the market and ensure that you, the consumers, are not being ripped off by these vendors. Now, to get an understanding of what these prices are, I also sent my good friend Danidu Vitanamasam to check the prices around in Colombo and he joins me now from the data board. Uh, Danidu, good to see you once again. Um, I also uh, I, I understand that you went around in Colombo, went into certain shops, certain supermarkets, trying to figure out what the prices are and everybody was looking at you in a weird way because you were not buying anything. You were a very suspicious uh, 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 person. Uh, entering these uh, institutions and trying to figure out what's going on. What did you learn? Well, firstly, Mahesh, the good news is that we see that the supermarket security system is quite accurate. They know what they're doing and they will. They are in the outlook to see if anyone's trying to audit the place. Uh, <laughs> now, towards a bit of bad news. Uh, we see that given the inflation rates that we have been covering on a daily basis within uh, within this program as well, uh, we uh, these were exclusively looked at for the 20th of January, the prices that existed on 20th of January, and exclusively in supermarkets. Now, we took a few key commodities. Rice, in this case, will be the samba rice that is being consumed by the majority of people. One coconut, meaning per coconut the rate, and the milk powder that tastes for 200 grams. These are the general major cons consumer products, and these are also covered by the central bank in terms of daily rates that have been governed. We see that the fluctuation here hasn't been too great. Uh, hasn't been too great within the past few weeks. We see that there has been a consistency in one kilogram of rice being at 230 rupees, in one coconut being between a range of 109 to 110, and milk powder going at between 1,190 to 1,240. Now, just to uh, take your, uh, the, the protein elements, I think this is where some of the uh, criticism has exactly risen. Fresh milk, uh, one would say has uh, stayed within the range of between 460 to 490. Now here, I believe even, even with this program, we have argued the issue of why can't we move into fresh milk completely and not take in milk powder because we see that if we look at the segments where we don't have to import, this is one area that we can really capitalize on. Chicken, one kilogram, and eggs, which have been like the primary protein source for children and for a lot of young adults, has been an area where we have seen an increase in fluctuation. Now here, Mahesh, we've seen that there has been a conversation about eggs that have been released from the central bank to be at between 55 and 56. But in the supermarket, we see the price between six, uh, between 65 and 66, that is uh, for a 10 pack, that it will be about 650 per pack. So we see that there's a huge discrepancy when it comes to the prices of these protein products. Over to you, Mahesh. Um, Narendu, I don't know whether you remember, but uh, there was a time period when this whole economic crisis started coming in. There was a, uh, a humanitarian organization, uh, I think part of the UN, um, they were trying to say, you know, oh my God, uh, Sri Lankan uh, children do not have enough ham, enough bacon, enough cheese to eat, and because of the economic crisis, uh, they're suffering uh, because uh, that particular organization was trying to tell the world. I don't. I, I think they were trying to make some money out of it. Or, or don't know whether you know how my, uh, our people don't have cheese. It's not as if most of the uh, children in this country do not consume those kinds of products on a daily basis. Maybe that is considered to be a luxury product. Uh, I did you find out exactly what those prices are in terms of? Uh, you know, the current current margin, with the can, can, can that be afforded by a bougie, you know, posh, posh families uh, who are apparently saying they, are, they too are going through all this, you know, economic crisis? Yeah, uh, I think more than anything, it shows the mismatch between what these organizations know and what the situation is on the ground. But uh, assuming that you would ask a similar question, we just had a look at one of these, uh, you know, the, the bourgeoisie kind of uh, items, cheese, retains its price as between 1,390 and 1,930, uh, just for anyone who needs to know. Bacon at 655, I believe these were two of the elements that were saying, okay, look, the children need these two elements specifically uh, for their growth and for their intake. And I believe, uh, if Mahesh, you recall, uh, they actually had a picture of a child, I believe, saying, you know, this is a victim of not having enough cheese uh, to, to eat. I think, again, it's a very elitist comment to be made. Again, if someone is uh, interested in the apple prices, green apple still goes at between 240 to <laughs> 235, red between 240 to 219. Sausages between 400 to 700. Again, supermarket prices for anyone who is interested. Yeah, um, I tend to think that our program is as such that we cater to all the audience. So there are the prices for all those products. Thank you very much.
Now, let's get some answers to this issue. And for that, I'm now joined by the chairman of the Consumer Affairs Authority, Shankar Niriyala. Thank you very much, sir, for joining me. I appreciate your time. So now, as you know, since the economic crisis began, there has been a massive uh, fluctuation of prices in daily commodities people use. Now, today, if you take uh, the prices of eggs, for an example, we just showed it uh, uh, on the data board, uh, we saw that despite what the government says, vendors are deciding their own prices and changing them daily, which is not fair uh, for the consumer. Now, who is looking after the consumer and where can they turn to for some fairness? Now, uh, well, uh, Mahesha, now, uh, as you said now, it is the consumer's authority uh, who can look after the rights of the consumers in Sri Lanka. Uh, also, that uh, you mentioned about the egg prices. Uh, to control the egg prices, we imposed MRP on eggs a couple of months back. It is in August. Uh, to control the prices because we, we knew and uh, we had a market survey. We found that egg prices were uh, going up without any very reason. Uh, and, uh, it is it is not fair uh, hike of uh, prices. So that uh, we uh, uh, we had a couple of discussions, couple of round discussions with all stakeholders uh, before we imposed uh, uh, MRP on the eggs. Uh, but ultimately, we found that uh, uh, the prices uh, hike uh, price hike was, hike was uh, very unfair and uh, it has to be uh, controlled. Uh, that is why we imposed uh, uh, MRP, which means uh, maximum retail price on eggs. Uh, by way of gazette uh, notification, ultimately, uh, it has been challenged uh, by the uh, producers and manufacturers in the court of law. And this uh, gazette notification has been temporarily suspended pending the final determination. Uh, so uh, uh, after after that, you can see the prices of eggs are going high, and uh, to there, there is no shortage in the market uh, of eggs. But uh, as you mentioned right now, uh, the prices of eggs are uh, going up. But, but uh, there is a mechanism to uh, there, but the government is seeking a mechanism to uh, control this price hike, uh, and the trade minister has already taken decision to import eggs and uh, fill this gap in the market. So thereby, uh, the consumer will be protected or uh, the expenses will be going down in due course. Well, um, as I mentioned, uh, sir, many uh, changes occurred uh, after the financial crisis hit in, in, uh, in this country. And now, how are you bringing back quality checks and holding vendors accountable for malpractice, thereby building confidence in the public? The <coughs> malpractices and the, the, there's a quality control, you mean that uh, uh, now that uh, we know that uh, all the uh, traders and producer, producers are selling their own products and there may be uh, uh, instances where uh, the products are not up to the standard. You can see in the market some products holds the mark of SLSI uh, where it is necessary and it has been mandatory. Uh, some products it is not available but the consumer anticipate that the product is uh, uh, up to the standard and it is uh, uh, it is suitable for consumption. So that is why the, uh, the consumer purchase or consume uh, all these uh, uh, commodities. So if there are any uh, loopholes in this uh, standard, they can complain to the con consumer's authority uh, and we can carry out a, a research and a, a, the laboratory test over, over that product. Uh, and we can uh, take necessary legal actions against the persons or the trader or the vendor or the manufacturer uh, who uh, pro who keep this uh, product for uh, sale in the market. Mr. Niriyala, let me be blunt and ask you, do trade unions and other business uh, societies pressuring your authority to retain high prices and not consider the consumer? It is, uh, uh, Maisha, this is uh, actually it is very, very good question. The consumer, consumer affairs authority is uh, an independent entity. There is no influence by any party, but we are empowered by act to call all these stakeholders or the producers, or manufacturers, any vendor uh, who produce uh, uh, consumer communities and have discussions over these issues whenever the issues arises. Uh, 
uh, as for an example when the prices are going up uh, or the, uh, the, the it is the producers who keep the fix the MRP on their own products so we have advised all these manufacturers and producers to keep a record as to how they uh, uh, arrive this MRP it has to be reasonable so any, there is no influence by any other party or the any, any outsider uh, to the activities of the uh, consumer, consumer affairs authority uh, so we are independent and we are doing our uh, maximum to the safe uh, to to safeguard the rights of the consumers of sri lanka Indeed. Um, all right. We have to leave it at that. Uh, thank you very much. That was the chairman of the Consumer Affairs Authority, Shant Niriyal. Uh, we're going to take a short commercial break. On the other side, Canada is fast. Is it fast becoming the 51st state of the United States of America? Because they tend to be acting like the U.S. Ambassador, Julie Chung. Back in a moment. This is State of the Nation.